Okay, so here we are just going to navigate home and it's gonna figure everything out for us. So that's where we need to charge, but there's actually a charger here in Topeka that David would like to stop at. So yeah. we're gonna make a quick pit stop because somebody forgot their sunglasses. I always forget sunglasses when we go on a trip. Every yeah. trip we have to buy you new sunglasses. Almost. So yeah, anyway, that is basically our trip and then we get home, which can't wait for that. The total trip is 627 miles, taking 10 hours and 22 minutes. On the road again, just can't wait to get on the road again. We are going to see if we can take our brand new standard range plus model three with a 240 mile range on a 650 mile road trip and how that works out. Now, all the other cars I've done road trips on had 300 plus miles worth of range. I've never owned anything with less than 300 miles, so I'm kind of curious to see how that works. Now, the Tesla supercharger situation here is actually really, really good. And now the car is actually saying we can leave. We just plugged in like five, 10 minutes ago. Okay, already time to go. Yep. Let's unplug oh, it. Got my sunglasses. Got the sunglasses. I don't know, comment down below too. What do you guys feel about aero rims? I'm not normally a huge fan of them, but if they add more range, I'm a fan. Okay, so David's driving this leg of the trip. Yeah, and I haven't adjusted the mirrors or anything yet because uh, we need to do that. It's my first time driving here, so let's just see here. So to get to Topeka was actually about a 77 mile drive from where we picked the car up in Kansas City, Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah. So we kind of already did the first leg of the trip, and now we are on the second leg. We didn't even need to stop here, but David needed to get some sunglasses. He likes to forget them when we are on trip, so we end up picking a pair up everywhere we go. So how much were they? Seven ninety-seven. That's actually not bad. And they're polarized. They had one for two two dollars less for non-polarized. I, I splurged and got the polarized. One. Oh, you splurged seven dollars. That was before tax. It was eight seventy with tax. <laughs> so anyway, I guess uh, we have another hour and twenty-two minutes, or one hundred and one miles before our next stop, which is in Salina. Salina. And then after that, we'll stop in Hayes, then Colby, then Lyman, and then home. Actually, not that bad, all things considered. Now, if we did have the long range Model 3. Or a Raven. Or a Raven Model right. S or something like that, we would probably be able to skip one or two of these superchargers. So while having the standard range plus means we have to stop a little bit more often, it's actually not that bad because these are all pretty fast superchargers. So yeah, I guess we'll see you in Salina. On the road again, just can't wait to get on the road again. Okay, David has to make an emergency stop. Yes, basically what? we are stopping What's at the, the Russell Stover Candies factory store. Oh my God. It's a great place to get cheap chocolate that's just like slightly damaged, but it tastes just as good. And we're okay with that. Yes. No tickets. We're actually on Caramel Boulevard. And then look how big Russell Stover is. Is this like their only factory? No, they've got multiple factories. It's oh my just... god, it's huge. We're going to the candy shop. Okay, so as you can see up front here at the Russell Stover store, they've got buy two, get one free, which is a good deal on chocolate. A lot cheaper than, you know, like Walmart. But if you want really good deals, you gotta go to the back room. That sounds really creepy. So we looked around and we found the International and Private Reserve Tile Bloopers. Three pounds for just $12.99. We better stock up. Okay, so we got our bag of chocolate, literally the entire bag. You can see it like coming out the top. Um, what did it, what did it come up to? What did was, we spend? It was 66 bucks. 66 bucks. But I bet we got $200 worth of chocolate. Right, yeah, turn right here. So we are in Salina, but we did just notice this Popeyes and we haven't done the Popeyes chicken sandwich Not yet. test. So I think we're gonna get a quick lunch before we head over to the supercharger. We are in Salina, Kansas at the Supercharger. We're plugging in. I haven't been here for like two years. Remember we came here with the puppies when we picked them up in Wichita? Okay, so we do have some bad news though to share with you guys. Uh, the first big issue on the trip, I would say. Yes. Um, unfortunately, the Popeyes is out of chicken sandwiches. The internet broke Popeyes. Yeah, it's sad. So congratulations. Okay, here's my chicken tenders. Food vlog here. I got some mac and cheese down there. I got a ton of tenders, holy crap. I didn't get my biscuit, but David gave me his. 
Yeah, and I got the chicken tenders with the Cajun fries. With the Cajun fries. Let's try one of these. That's pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so we are now leaving Salina and heading. Where is it? Where Hayes. is it? Next. Okay. So we have what an hour and twenty minute drive, yep. ninety three miles to Hayes, Kansas. So far, road trip's been excellent. No issues. Ex well, except for the chicken sandwich issue. It. Oh, device. yeah. On the road again, just can't wait to get on the road again. Okay, so we have arrived to Hayes. I'm waking up from a nappy nap. It was actually pretty glorious. How's the drive? So far, so good. I do appreciate the fact that we have tack and autopilot, auto steer at least. It really helps out on the uh, road trips. I do miss not having auto lane change though, because we have to actually turn autopilot on and off every time we make a turn. Or, or pass a car. Yeah, that is kind of a bummer. Actually, here's where we took a good Instagram photo when we got the puppies. Uh, that was like two years ago. Yep, almost two years. Almost two years. They just turned to happy birthday little puppies. But yeah, that was the last time I was at this supercharger, actually. So we're in the uh, standard range plus Model 3. It seems to top out about 100, maybe a little over 100 kilowatts, which is it's still pretty fast. Not as fast as what you can get in a long range or in the Model S or X. Yeah, because actually in the Performance Model 3, I just got 250 kilowatts. Yeah, that's amazing fast. That it's they two have. and a half times as fast as this. Yeah, that's, yeah. And it doesn't stay that rate for the entire charge. But, no, but, but it at it, least peaks at that, where this peaks at 100. Yeah. So at least at least on these version two ones, we don't know how fast this one hits uh, or how true. high it goes on a version three supercharger. That is true. Okay, there are the superchargers that we just left. Yeah, so now we are leaving Hayes. And the next stop is? It will be Colby, Kansas. Colby, Kansas. Nice travel plaza there we'll be stopping in. On the road again, just can't wait to get on the road again. There's actually like a little travel plaza over here too, which is kind of nice. Yeah, got a, several different restaurants right in the one stop and it's also got a, a dog park and it's even split up for small dogs and large dogs. Oh yeah, I remember the puppies here at this dog yeah, park. Like a, but actually they're building all this stuff now. Yeah, what's that? More? more store i guess along this side interesting we need a lot of charge but if we want to skip goodland but i think we might as well stop in goodland too just to check it out again haven't been there oh no look at the supercharger okay we just unplugged because in talking goodland which is like what 36 miles away 37 i think yeah. actually has a steak and shake oh. and they have shakes and they have and good burgers yeah. and amazing Cajun fries. So we opted for that. So we're actually gonna go like 36 miles and then we will plug back in and get some food there. And again, we could bypass that supercharger if we wanted to, we could stay longer here. And there are the superchargers. Okay. He's gonna go plug it in, and we will. Oh, screen went dark. So that automatically pops up, ready to charge, starting to charge, and just takes a second to communicate with the car. And again, it says <laughs> it's, it's high usage supercharger station, but there is nobody here. Okay, by superchargers, we have one more stop in Lyman, and then we will be home. On the road again, just can't wait to get on the road again. But right next to Arby's are the Tesla superchargers. So yeah, last supercharger so far, trip's gone great. Last time I was in Lyman, was with the puppies again. I actually stepped in a giant mud pit and I think it's actually these same shoes now that I think about it. Uh, and I uh, didn't ha get to wear shoes on the way home because they were both muddy. 
So that was fun. Oh, yeah, last year or two years ago. Yeah. So, yeah, last supercharger so far. Everything's gone well. No range issues at all. We've, oh, we do notice that again, though. That's weird because literally no. nobody else Well, let's look at the here. thing, too. It, it says five of six available. Huh, that's weird that it says that. The nice thing, though, is you can override that 80% if you really need it. So, yeah, I guess we'll just sit here, charge for about 20 minutes, and then get home. Okay, we switched drivers. Last leg of the trip. An hour and 27 minutes, only 97 miles. Uh, it's getting kind of late here. It's 7 o'clock. Uh, we actually did do really good timing, though. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. <sighs> okay, we have made it home. Um, I course thought we would anyway but I got a little nervous being that this is the first car that I bought that had a sub 300 mile range and I had a little range anxiety built up but turns out it was nothing but a false alarm trip went excellent David actually thoroughly enjoyed it too I had a very busy weekend during that time because I drove out to LA for dropping off the performance model 3 then flew to Kansas City picked up the car and then drove it back. So it was a very busy couple days, but absolutely loved it. So now on the entire trip, we only charged for about two hours and 10 minutes for about 660 or so miles. That's really not too shabby when you think about it. And this charging stops were pretty quick allowed us to pretty much get a bite to eat, use the restroom, and we were ready to go again. So the standard range plus definitely gets a thumbs up, although it does have a slower charging rate and it's missing a couple options that I really wish it had, but all that will come in a future video. So yeah, definitely comment down below if you guys have a standard range plus, have you taken on any road trips and how has it been for you? Always curious to hear everybody else's opinions. As always though, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model SX or Model 3, much like this one, definitely check them out, all linked down below. Using code Tesla Inventory will actually get you 15% off your first purchase. And my must-have accessories for the Model 3 are definitely gonna be a center console wrap because Tesla's material is very fingerprint and scratch prone and that will just help protect it that much more as well as a matte screen protector really helps cut down on the glare and fingerprints both of which I absolutely love so definitely go ahead and check them out as always though thumbs up if you enjoyed that video go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones we'll see you guys in the next one bye and we're almost to 50,000 subscribers huge thanks to you guys and uh, we have some really special stuff planned. Actually, when this video goes up, I am actually flying to China for Tesla stuff. You'll have to wait and see, so definitely subscribe if you haven't.